Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for another very special edition of Wows Alive with our host, Ned Dennison. Hello, everyone. I've done about 50 of these interviews with my co-host, Steve Munitonis, in the last couple of months, and we, uh, from time to time, get some absolutely inspiring stories, and I'm sure we have one of those today. I'd like my next guest, Walid from Egypt, to introduce himself. Uh, my name is Walid Abdel Qadir. Uh, Walid, tell us about growing up. Tell us about swimming. Were you were you a champion swimmer as a young man? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I grew up in uh, in a poor family. As since I grew up in a coastal city, which is Alexandria in Egypt, uh, most of young children uh, know how to swim. When I was eleven years old, I had to work as a waitress in the beach coffee shop. That gave me advance to swim every every day in my free time, and uh, participate in a, some local swimming competition between the neighborhood kids, which was uh, uh, on, the, on, on the beach. It was not professional in not professional way, but uh, results was my result was okay. And then you had an accident as a, as as a, as a young man. Tell us about uh, how old you were and and the accident. Uh, my accident, yeah, uh, you know, it, it was that day when I was going back from the school, as usual, and when I was getting on the train, I slept, I, I, I slept and fell between train and platform, okay? Uh, it was uh, in 1987, and it, till now, train door wasn't shut, shut down automatically. Uh, okay. I, I, I caught that, that door hand uh, with my, uh, my, my right hand while I train was moving. My left, my left hand ran over in that platform and my right leg ran over in train, train wheel. This, this situation continue until the, I arrived to the end of the platform. Uh, I fell in the ground. Some people thought that I, I, I died. And an hour after that accident, I, I, woke, up, I woke up looking for my missing uh, hand <laughs> and, I, I, and leg. After I arrived to the hospital, uh, the doctor decided to amputate my right leg under the knee and my left hand above the, the, the elbow. I was in 16 years old. And you, uh, you got back into swimming at some point. Was it, uh, was it immediately, was it five years later? Tell us about how you came to, to be a new swimmer. Yeah, when I, when after the accident, I, I was appreciated by oh approached by a disabled swimmer from the same country, from the same city. He advised me to, uh, to talk to the head coach of the national swimming team that, that time for, uh, it, it was uh, Captain Nabil Shazdi, you know him, of course. After I recovered from my accident, Chuck, they took me uh, more than eight months. And uh, the offer he made to you was uh, learn how to swim again, start training, and come to England and do an English Channel relay with you. This was the plan. Uh, no, not not like that. I I'm I'm firstly I'm decided to swim. Uh, I I I was young. I I need to, to permission from my father. You know. Uh, uh, to start to swim with Nabil Shazli. Uh, my father refused uh, in the beginning to, uh, to start the swim because how the people will look at me, you know. Uh, this, this gave me the motivation. It gave me the motivation to change how people looked at me. And then when did you, um, when did you uh, get the idea you were going to do this English Channel Relay? It's, it's again because we, 
firstly, uh, we, we start to uh, join the national competition for, for handicap long distance swim. And uh, after that, we, we decide to join the relay national team for Egypt, uh, who's a disabled uh, team. We have seven person to cross the English Channel Relay, you know, uh, everyone swimming just one hour. And we had it in uh, 1989 for uh, 10 hours and 44 minutes. When you were when you were learning how to swim again, how how difficult was that for you? Uh, honestly, after I started swimming after the accident, I I found that the water is the best environment for to to feel to feel myself again, to feel free. Like I'm I'm able to to do it. Okay, Nabil helped me to you know. Uh, to uh, to make the best rotation for my body in the water, to have a, a best speed, you know, and have a good style, and have a good style in, in, uh, in you know, uh, in, in long distance style. It's different for the short distance, like you. You should to to see how how you need to look how uh, where you're going to to, to complete your uh, your your. Uh, your way. How much of his coaching was physical and how much of his coaching was for your head? Uh, difficult question, but uh, it was it was both helped me for, to, to I, I, I cannot forget Nabil Shaz when, when he told me that the first time we, we arrived to England for, for the day, you see, Wally, uh, swimming is give you what 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 you what you what you want because you give you give swimming your time and your effort. Amen? If you give it more than that, the, the swimming will give you more than that. You know, and I take this way in my life for for work, for swimming, for sports, for coaching, you know, for everything. Was this your first time on an airplane? Your first time to another country? Uh, yeah, it was in 1989, uh, uh, the relay. Uh, it was the first time. I was 18 years old. And um, you completed the, the relay as a team. Congratulations. Then you. somehow you got it in your head to do a solo. When did you decide you were going to do a solo? What was it? Uh, I think when was the time... You remember exactly when that was? Uh, really, it, 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 it was, uh, uh, it was Nabil. It's, it started after the, the relay. Nabil told me that I am going to swim the English Channel solo. So it, was, it, it wasn't my, my, my decide. He, he, he see in, in, my, in my soul what I'm, I didn't see in this time. And started to training, uh, prepare swimming uh, as a mounting program that would last for for a, it, it it would last for for a years. It was a daily training program, and every every day it would get harder and harder than the other day. It and it it was made for us to. Fear at the distance. Well, they did, did I understand right that uh, Captain Nabil Shazley, he told you you were going to do the solo? Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you suffer a terrible accident as a child. And next thing you know, the, the coach of the national team is, is contacting you. Now you're on a plane to, to England. Yeah. Now you complete the relay, and the national team coach says to you, "You're going to do a solo." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you believed, and you and, and you believed him. Yeah, I believed him. It it was uh, uh, you know the bonding between me and Nabi was 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 very tight.
but yeah. It, it's interesting for, for me, we, we interviewed a, a lady with a, a disability due to polio in her legs. Yeah. And as a, as a young girl, her father said, I'm not sure this looks good in public, you racing. Yeah. Yeah. This is in the 1960s in England. And not too many years later, um, here you are in Egypt. The national team is looking for you. The national team is coaching you. The national team is inspiring you. And um, I, I think the, the commitment to helping a disabled swimmer in Egypt in that those years must be unbelievable for the rest of the world. Like, I can't believe anywhere else in the world was doing that kind of encouragement at, at that time. Uh, it was uh, it, it was the same for me because my father, as I told you, uh, is refused that uh, to, to to start to swim because because of uh, how the people will look at me. You know, uh, it's the same father in England too. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, Nabil was 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 decent. You know, I was training with uh, the most name was the most famous name in the world for the the long distance. Uh, one of them is uh, Nasr Shazli, his son, you know. Uh, I, w I was trained between the whole swimmers. Um, I, I remember Muhammad al uh, I remember Nasr Shazli, Mahmoud Nail. I, I think you, 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 maybe you, you know this, those names. Uh, I was one of them. I, I one of, one of them, no, 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 not like yeah, you handicap, you have a special training, uh, they are uh, faster than you. Uh, no, no. He believed, he believed in, 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 in soul. He believed in souls. How your souls can do. Not how the body, not how whatever. T tell us about your arrival in Dover. Um, did you go to the beach in Dover and train or Folkestone? Did you see other swimmers? Did they say, really? Um, yeah. what, was, what was the response when you were there? Uh, we, we arrived in Folkestone. Uh, we, we have to, uh, our training in, uh, uh, in first year in 89 as a, as a relay team. Uh, the people look at what, what? It's a cold water, man. Come over. <laughs> like that, somewhere like that. Uh, when we get uh, to the water, you know, you see, you see we see us uh, just jumping to, to go to the water with no hand, with no leg, like that. They was uh, was amazing for a lot of people, and uh, was a lot of swimmer. I, I can remember the name now, but you know, every year in in, in that in that time in uh, in August, uh, a lot of swimmers came to focus on and Dover to uh, after they finished they they trip in a lot of yeah. competition. They came for just make uh, some record. It was a challenge for every distance swimmer uh, in the world. And I'll bet every single one of them remembers you. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think that. And, and the swim itself, tell us, tell us about the swim. Yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, we, we, we traveled two swimmers from Egypt, uh, me and, uh, and uh, Musa Atsar. Uh, in uh, in nineteen, uh, we travel in fifteen of August. Uh, uh, the swimming was, uh, you know, uh, we, we we arrived in in focused in uh, fifteen of August. Uh, Nabil decided to start with with uh, with Mossad first. Um, uh, I think his, his course after a week from when you arrived, uh, his time is 13 hours, uh, I believe 13 hours or come. Or come was at, I, I don't remember his, uh, okay. his record for now. And did, uh, he have two, did he have two hands and two feet? No, he just will have uh, uh, amputated in uh, one leg. 
in, in his left leg. Okay. It's, it's, keep, keep going. Don't make, worry. Don't don't worry about his time. Okay. He, he, he's, uh, he's thirteen and uh, thirteen hours and twenty nine minutes. Thirteen hours and twenty nine minutes. Uh, it all started after. Uh, uh, I started my swimming in uh, in end of August 31, 31 of August. Uh, it was like every day, uh, you know. In, in normally, uh, we we waiting for the, the the weather channel to to to, to tell us uh, that day is good to uh, to cross, but. We, we, didn't, we didn't have it because because just one just me uh, if if you uh, review the the record in that day just just me cross that the English channel. Uh, I started in in the morning in eight eight uh, eight a.m. Uh, I think or ten ten a.m. in the morning. Uh, in one move, just one move, you know, I will die and. Or cross the other side, dying or see the Calais beach. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm starting with uh, it was rough, rough day. Some some waves. Uh, Mr. White was the was a pilot. Uh, was a he was a great man. Okay, Nabil was was you know I have a knowledge. You know uh, this this uh, this swimming. It depends half to half between the swimmers and the guide. Because when, when you swim, you don't decide how to make move to the right or the or the or, or how 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 long the uh, the speed of the of the water or temperature or like that. This is the bond between you and his your coach or or your your bond in the in the boat, you know. Some je big jellyfish in this day. <laughs> uh, uh, as you told you, I'm incest to, uh, to cross the, the other side. Uh, I'm just still swimming, swimming, swimming. Uh, till the night, Nabil tell me, good. My speed was, was good because my record is 12 hours and 59 minutes. I, I, I still have this good record for uh, for my case because i have one arm one leg um, yeah, it's, it's a good record <laughs> some able body have have more than that uh after i i've i've, I've just near from the calais nabil stopped the boat it was a night this is the beach you're good go ahead this was the best moment in the in, in my life you know I have one <laughs> uh, 200 or 300 meters to finish this 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 course. Yeah, it was uh, a good moment. And uh, after that, he uh, he joined me with. Uh, uh, I I'm come back to the Mr. White when in, in, in Nabil Shazdi for, for in, in the boat. He after after you finish the. After I finish this, this, this swim, you know, it's hurt in every piece of your, your body. It's, it's just hurt, you know, after you finish. But when you swim, you have the motivation, you have the power, you have the soul to complete this. So, so just so everyone understands, this is 12 hours and 59 minutes, uh, yeah. one arm, one leg. And yeah. uh, the average for the English Channel is a little over 13 hours. So under under the average which is fantastic uh, tell us the reaction when you went back to egypt uh it was when for me and for my my, and my coach Nabi, uh you know long distance swimmer our the english channel was not uh goals for the ministry of use in this time you know uh uh, after that, uh, I celebrate with with my with my uh, followers uh, from disability, and uh, it was big hint for the for me. Uh, this time was not 
have a, a lot of media, you know, no Facebook, no Twitter, no whatever. Uh, after this years, I, I meet you to un introduce myself. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I choose the other goal for me that I have a gold medal for in the Paralympic Games and I work for it for another 10 years, another six years, <laughs> because I won the, the Olympic medals in 96 in Atlanta Olympic Games. And, and in your decade of, of doing the disabled swimming championships, the Paralympics, you were in South Africa, New Zealand, Atlanta, England, Malta, Barcelona. What was your favorite trip? Uh, my favorite moment in, in this whole trip, when I have the, the medal, when I was <laughs> in the stage to have the, this medal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was working a long time, six years to have this, you know, six years from training and training and training to have the, the, the Olympic medal. I have to achieve in my life the English Channel and the Olympic medal. Uh, this need will, uh, I do a lot of efforts to, to have this. So when, when you were a young man and you had your accident, uh, coach, uh, Captain Nabil El Shazli reached out to you. Have you inspired other swimmers yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, I inspired a, a lot of swimmers in Egypt uh, or in my city because I'm, I'm coaching now uh, an, uh, a handicap in uh, other different uh, disability, like mental disability and uh, mo yeah, moving disability. And uh, my final question for you is, um, are you still swimming? Yeah, I'm still swimming. I'm young, I'm old, but I'm still swimming because uh, I love water. I, it's connection for 20 years, <laughs> uh, but in, in not in, uh, in, in like uh, international uh, competition, in, the, in, in national, national competition. To inspire a lot of uh, young people, a lot of young swimmers, you know, uh, to inspire myself because uh, um, swimming has given me uh, a reason for a life, reason for uh, I can do it. Well, Lita, I want to thank you very, very much. Um, I, your story is absolutely fabulous. Uh, just, just uh, I told you earlier, but uh, you were about 10 minutes slower in the English Channel than I was, and um, I have two hands and two feet. Um, so I have, <laughs> I have a huge respect for, for what you've accomplished. I can't understand all of it, but uh, you're absolutely a hero in the sport. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you very much.